Hello there, welcome to Plague for Plague's Sake episode 7. Uh, I am Michael Bukowski, your host and perfumer of the people. As ever today we are going to take a rather dubious plague cure uh, and try to reimagine it using the art of perfumery. Actually we're not really going to be doing that today at all. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different uh, today. We're going to be influenced by a plague initiative that occurred in Florence in the 17th and 18th centuries um, called, and I've got it written down, Bichette del Vino, uh, which I've probably mispronounced, um, but basically was a wine window. So during an epidemic in Florence, you would have these wine windows where the seller would be able to leave wine and the patron would be able to take wine. So kind of a space where there's little sort of contact happening, um, which is obviously something that is quite prevalent this year, where we don't really want to be touching um, as much stuff as we normally would. So I took this idea, the Bacchetti, I've got it written down, Bacchetti del Vino, uh, and uh, I began to think of how we could utilise it this year, the idea of a space where transactions happen but without any sort of real contact uh, and I basically came up with the idea of a money box that people in the retail trade could use in order for um, safe delivery of cash because we're not using that much cash at the moment. So that was the basic idea and I'll run through how to go about making one right now. This is what it looks like um, and this is what you will need to make it. You will need beeswax, rose water, perfumer's alcohol, a box, and the equipment you will need is a saucepan, a heat resistant jug, and a hob. So in order to make our money box, we are going to firstly break off a bit of the beeswax and melt it by making a double boiler using a saucepan and a jug. We're then going to pour the wax into the box. Uh, enough to line it is all we need. However, I've gone a little bit to town here and I've sort of covered the whole box in beeswax to give it something of a slightly rustic, slightly uh, be bewildering um, Aesthetic, looks kind of old, looks like it could have been used in the 17th century. Uh, so once we have um, done that and let the uh, beeswax dry completely, um, we are going to add our perfumer's alcohol and our rose water into the box. But we're going to measure it out first of all. Um, we're going to measure 30 mil out um, but it's going to be two parts perfumer's alcohol and one part rose water. The rose water just gives it a, a little bit of a lift, it ma makes for a pleasant aroma. Roses of course as well, somewhat synonymous with Italy in terms of symbolic of sort of passion and love, Some somewhat symbolic of uh, Florence. Um, so as mentioned it's going to be 20 ml of perfumer's alcohol just going straight into this jug and 10 ml of rose water it smells quite subtle quite um quite floral as you'd imagine but um, there's a certain subtlety to it and a certain complexity to it which means it's a nice smell around sort of a shop anyway um, and it will be something that you could certainly live with um, when you are working in the shop. So just giving this a little bit of a stir so that we uh, get an even lining of rose water in the alcohol probably for about two minutes uh, ideally, but just to show you I've quickly um, stirred the rose water into the perfumer's alcohol. And then we're just going to pour it into the box and the um, 
beeswax to ensure that it's uh, it will stay in the box correctly. And there we have it. That is a box uh, that you can use in the retail industry in order to ensure safe transactions of cash. The idea being you can put coins and notes into the box, perfume as alcohol, do its job of ensuring that they are safe to take out of the box and use again. Um, so quite an obscure play, I guess play prevention really. Um, very useful if you are in the retail industry. I dare say every retailer will have this uh, initiative in place before Christmas. Um, if you are using it, let me know in the comments. In fact, even if you're not using it, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I think that's what you're supposed to say. Anyway, what a fantastic plague prevention um, initiative. Hope to see it in retail stores soon. Bye.